All right, let's cover some Salam Tanakh and Ayatollah. Let's cover some ground that we've briefly touched on before, and let's go into a little more detail on it. Namely, what we want to touch on is Ras Tefari, etymology of Rastafari. And we're going to link now the Hebraic etymology of Rastafari. First of all, let's put up here Ras, like that. Te-fer-ri. So we have Ras. Actually, here's how it's spelled in English often Ras Safari. Literally, more will be Te Fer Now you might find in some older. Um, translations of the name Ras Tesari. You have Tesari. Now what's often confused um, by probably many sincere brethren and sisteren who have not gained a knowledge of the language of Ras Tesari, which is the royal Amharic of Negus Neges, what's often been confused in the translation Usually you might find ones translated as head, which is ras, and then they might say erroneously that tefari means creator. Now, I'm sure if you look it up and if you recall, and some are still saying that ras tefari is head plus creator, but that's not correct because bamarinya, creator, is not tefari, but it's actually Fe-A-R-I, which is F-E-T-A-R-I. So now in the etymology of it, from the royal Amharic, to say head creator is incorrect, saying head creator. So Aras Tesari, Aras Tefari is not head creator, but it is Ras Tefari and Tefari actually means not creator but the one to be reverenced or simply feared. One can say the one to be respected, the one to be respected, the head to be reverenced, the head to be respected not the head creator, because that's confusing two different words in the Amharic, tefari and fetari. So this is, this is what we really need to become clear on as Rastafari, you understand? And that is the knowledge of our language, of the royal Amharic. Now, as we go even deeper, into getting into the roots of Rastafari. There's a couple of interesting and important things to be noted about Rastafari as a people and as a movement. Now, in touching on this, we can draw on various researches. You understand? But a lot of the researches have a lot of speculation. Have a lot of speculation. We're not speculating. What we are is articulating the establishing the known truth or the facts of the matter or the knowledge. See, there's knowledge to this. If you look up Tesari, you'll find that Tesari means the one to be reverenced, the one to be feared. And now Tesari is linked to Tiferet. To Tiferet. Now, Tiferet. What is Tiferet? This is a Hebrew word. Ras is linked to Ras is linked to Rosh. So we have Rosh and we have Tiferet. Now this is the key as we go forward. We're going to touch on this even more so. The Hebrew roots of Rastafari. First thing we have to recognize about Rastafari is that Rastafari is a for lack of a better word, let's say a monotheistic. Now, what does monotheistic mean? Mm. Monotheistic basically is best summed up 
by the Shema, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Achad. In other words, hear, O Israel, Deuteronomy, for your reference, Deuteronomy, we have Deuteronomy 6 and 4, which is known as the Shema. Shema, hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. So it's monotheistic. You understand? In Ethiopia and in Ethiopic uh, uh, Hebraicism, you understand, and in the refinement of that, which we will call Christina or Ethiopic Judeo Christianity, we know this as Tawahido. Tawahido. And Tawahido means to be one. To be one. You understand? Some translate as, as um, um, mono, they say, um, uh, monophysite monophysite, but that's that's a poor translation. Some say maybe it should be meophysite. Now, these are all Greek words, and around these Greek concepts, there's a lot of confusion. So, therefore, what we seek to do is to touch on the Amharic and the Ethiopic and our own roots. So, we know that Rastafari is a Judeo-Christian reality. It's monotheistic. It's non-idolatrous. And now, it's a, for lack of a better word, some may call it a religion. Some say it's the youngest religion. You understand? It's not a new religion, as some may say. It is actually a revelation. You understand? A revelation of the truth of the past, the truth of the days gone by, revealed in this present time. Now, another aspect of this way is the Noahide laws. And we're going to touch on the Noahide laws. Some say that it draws heavily on its Judaic and its Christian sources. Some even say it's more Old Testament than New. But actually it is both Old and New. You know and this is the key of Ras Teferi. But first and foremost is what is in a name. 